Did you know that Utah was the very first state to elect a female state senator? It's true. What better time of year to talk about voting than during election time? And what better place to talk about voting than here in Utah with our rich history of female political pioneers like Martha Hughes Cannon, the first female state senator in the United States. Martha, who often went by Maddie, was born in Wales. After joining the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, she and her family migrated to the United States, eventually coming here to Utah, where at the age of 16, Maddie enrolled in the University of Deseret, today known as the University of Utah. By the age of 25, she had earned four college degrees, including a medical degree from the University of Michigan. She later became the resident physician at the Deseret Hospital here in Salt Lake. Now, Utah women had enjoyed the right to vote from 1870 until 1887, when the federal government took away female suffrage in Utah as part of an effort to try to get rid of the Latter-day Saint practice of plural marriage. Maddie was herself a plural wife, and so for a time she traveled to Europe to avoid having to testify against her husband Angus in court. After the 1890 manifesto announced the beginning of the end of Latter-day Saint plural marriage, things like statehood and even regaining the right to vote for Utah women became possibilities. With statehood on the horizon, several women were nominated to run in the 1895 Utah territorial election. But the Utah Supreme Court ruled that because women in Utah still could not yet vote, they couldn't run for office either, so the women had to withdraw. But after Utah became a state and Utah women regained the right to vote in 1896, Utah women were now free to run for office. In the 1896 election, Martha was among 10 candidates for five open positions in the Utah State Senate. Though she didn't receive the most votes out of all the candidates, she was in the top five. Among the five candidates who were not elected to the Senate was Martha's husband, Angus. Here on display, we have a facsimile of a ballot from the 1896 election. You'll notice that Martha ran as a Democrat and Angus as a Republican. But the couple reported that no marital problems resulted from Martha's defeat of Angus or from their differing political opinions. With Martha's election to the Utah State Senate in 1896, she became the very first female state senator in the United States. This autograph book was presented to Senator Cannon in 1897 by members of Utah's second state senate. It was presented to her in honor of her being the first lady ever elected to the high office of state senator in this great American union. And here we have a combination bookcase and secretary desk that Dr. Cannon used in her home. In addition to running a medical practice, teaching classes, holding public office, and campaigning for public health, Martha was also the mother of three children. Certainly balancing her personal and public life was a challenge, but Martha is known to have said, if you give me a woman who thinks about something besides cook stoves and wash tubs and baby flannels, I will show you nine times out of 10 a good mother. In recognition of Dr. Cannon's important contributions, the Department of Health building here in Salt Lake is named in her honor. And soon, a statue of Senator Cannon will represent Utah at the United States Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. We look forward to when we can welcome you back to the Church History Museum again. But in the meantime, I encourage you to follow the example of trailblazing women like Martha Hughes Cannon and make your voice heard by casting your vote.